Hey, what's up guys? It's Scares here. Now our first story of today comes from Twitch. So just this morning, there was a massive leak regarding Twitch. And apparently, every single streamer on the entire platform of Twitch have had their payouts leaked. That's right, all the money they made on Twitch from the last two or so years has been leaked. And we have real numbers here to share with you guys. It says here in an article from The Verge that Twitch appears to have been hacked, leaking source code for the company's streaming service, and it also shares details from creator payouts. An anonymous poster on the 4chan messaging board has released a 125 gigabit torrent which they claim includes the entirety of Twitch and its commit history. So this person who posted this on 4chan is saying here that this was designed to foster more disruption and competition in the online video streaming space. The Verge is also confirming here that this leak is in fact legitimate and it includes code that is as recent as this week. So this leak is huge. I mean there are so many different things involved with the leak but what's really interesting about this is it's exposed three years of details regarding creator payouts on Twitch and it looks like every single streamer on Twitch is having their paychecks exposed right now and you have so many people on social media talking about how much money every single streamer has really made on Twitch. It also says that the leak doesn't appear to include password or address information on Twitch users but that doesn't mean this information hasn't been obtained as a part of this breach. In fact, the leaker seems to have focused on sharing Twitch's own company tools and information rather than code that would include personal accounts. The YouTuber Muda tweeted this out, he says no way this is real, if this is true, everything on Twitch including source code and payouts are leaked. Change passwords, I'm hoping that addresses aren't a part of this. And that's right, you have a lot of creators now telling Twitch streamers to change their passwords, change whatever you can on Twitch because they're not sure how much data has really been breached on the platform and obviously this has turned into a very serious situation for a lot of the top Twitch streamers. No something tweeted this out, he says Twitch has just had a major leak of a lot of stuff including their monthly payouts to streamers and he shows the money that these streamers have made just last month alone that's right just in the month of september this is how much money some of these top streamers have made and the top paid streamer from last month seems to be xqc it looks like he made over seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars just in the month of september so just last month in those 30 or so days xqc made over seven hundred fifty thousand dollars from just twitch revenue and i'm sure many of you guys watch a lot of these streamers on this list here some of them you might already know about. People like Critical made over $100,000 in September. Ludwig made over $100,000. Mizkiff over $100,000. Summit 1G over $300,000. And then also the top League of Legends streamer Tyler1 at $200,000 in just last month. I mean, that is a lot of money. There were also many other streamers that had their September payouts leaked. And I'm sure many of you guys know about a lot of these streamers here. But not only were payouts from last month exposed, but payouts from the last two or so years have been exposed as well well. He posted saying the gross payouts of the top 100 highest paid Twitch streamers from August 2019 until October 2021. And this is what really has blown up. This has literally been everywhere. You have so many people talking about these numbers because this is literally only two years and two months worth of revenue that these streamers have made just off of Twitch. And you can see here that XQC apparently made over $8.4 million just off of Twitch in the past two or so years. You have many other notable names on here like Tifu who made over five million dollars. Tim the Tabman who made over three million. You have Hassan who made over two million. You have Tyler One who made over two million as well. I mean, these numbers are huge. And keep in mind that these are not the final numbers, okay? This is just Twitch revenue. This does not include donations that these streamers are getting. It's not including a lot of the merch that these streamers are getting, YouTube revenue, sponsorships. There's a lot of things that is not included in these numbers. And for a lot of these streamers, these numbers are just a fraction of what they're making as a whole. And these huge numbers just go to show how profitable Twitch streaming really is. I mean, even some of the smaller Twitch streamers are making over six figures a year. And these huge numbers have caused a lot of controversy over social media. You have a lot of people that are upset with these streamers for making so much money for just streaming on Twitch. I mean, some of these streamers are just playing video games. You also have people calling these streamers greedy because they do sponsorships and ask for donations on top of making millions of dollars every year. But at the same time, people are saying that streaming is actually 
actually very exhausting and it's a lot more exhausting than people think. So there are two sides of the argument here. There's a lot of fans of these creators that are saying these creators deserve to make this much money, but there's also people saying that these creators do not deserve to make this much money. And it's very mixed right now, but most people are just surprised to see how much money people are making off of new media. KSI tweeted this out. He says, you're living under a rock if you're surprised or shocked at the amount of money people on Twitch make. So KSI showed up saying here, you should not be surprised. We have known that these people have made tons of money. The YouTuber and streamer Critical tweeted this out. He says, it's super weird to see people freak out about Twitch income and act like it was some big secret when sub counts are publicly available. Take that number and multiply it by 2.5 or 3.5 and you're there. I made a whole video on it. It's not the Krabby Patty formula, it's basic shit. Pokimane tweeted this out. She says, at least people can't over exaggerate me making millions a month off my viewers anymore. I capped my donations a year ago since I'm now at the point where sponsors, investments, and exclusive contracts can't sustain me. Transparently, subs plus stream ads are the lowest part of my income and I want you guys to continue keeping that money in your pocket. Treat yourselves. Now, many of these big streamers who have their earnings revealed are extremely upset with Twitch for having this huge breach because now obviously their paycheck is being revealed in the public. Everyone is seeing this right now. XQC tweeted this out. He says, hey, Twitch, explain. He's obviously pretty ticked off. And these earning numbers that were leaked have now turned into some kind of leaderboard on Twitch. And you have streamers making jokes in their stream titles showing their number on this Twitch earnings leaderboard. So this is by far the biggest leak we've ever had when it comes to Twitch and YouTube. I've never seen something this huge before. And this could just be the beginning. This person could leak even more information about Twitch and the creators in the future. And we'll keep you guys updated on this story as it develops. And our next story for today also has to do with Twitch. So I'm sure we all know at this point that Twitch is the top streaming platform. All the top streamers stream on Twitch, but it looks like YouTube live streaming is catching up with Twitch. A new survey came out that shows how many people are watching these streaming platforms. And it shows here that YouTube gaming is actually trailing behind Twitch now. So Twitch is clearly still the top live streaming platform with 36% of people saying they watch Twitch, but YouTube has 22%. And that's some of the highest numbers that we have seen from YouTube live streaming ever. So it looks like YouTube live streaming is really catching up with Twitch. And this might have to do with the fact that YouTube is taking so many of Twitch's top streamers. Big Twitch streamers like Dr. Lupo and Tim the Tabman have recently moved from Twitch to YouTube and they've signed deals with YouTube. And other big Twitch streamers have been rumored to be moving to YouTube in the future. One of these streamers was Nick Merckx. So Nick Merckx was apparently going to leave Twitch and go to YouTube gaming. And there were many YouTubers that were talking about this. People really did think that Nick Merckx was going to leave Twitch and go to YouTube. But it turns out that Nick Merckx is not moving to YouTube. He is really going to stay on Twitch. And apparently Nick Merckx has signed one of the biggest Twitch deals ever. So clearly Nick Merckx has just signed a contract with Twitch where he is making a ton of money to stay on the platform. Now our final story for today comes from the very controversial YouTuber, Nikado Avocado. Now I'm sure many of you know who this YouTuber is. He is very popular right now. He makes millions of views every video and his videos are him basically just doing mukbangs, okay? Where he'll just eat food the whole video and he'll talk about his life. He'll talk about different things going on with him. And a lot of times he will be over the top. He will go kind of crazy in these videos. And it seems like he's doing it because he's playing a character. But many YouTubers have grown very concerned over Nikado's rapid weight gain. You've had many YouTubers who have made videos on him over the past few months. And last week, the massive creator Critical made a video on Nikado where he titled it, this YouTuber is slowly killing himself for views. And in this video, Critical talks about how Nikado has been neglecting his health and gaining weight in order to get more views on YouTube. This situation is insane. Just watch this. But then he started to notice that the videos that gained a lot of traction were videos where he was just fucking gluttonous and eating a million calories per sitting. So he stuck with it. And now he has a couple of channels where he does this pretty much every day and it's been like this for the last four or so years. This is what he used to look like in 2017 and then when the videos really started to gain traction he gained over 200 pounds in the last couple of years. And it's absolutely true. It's the audience's fault for this. They created what Nakado Avocado has become. Obviously, it's not all their fault. He is making the conscious decisions to completely throw away his health and well-being, which has now led to his disability, which he claims to have. So this video has been all over the internet the past week, and Nakado responded to Critical here. Critical made another response to him, and now Nakado has made five different videos on Critical, and many people are accusing Nakado of milking this situation and trying to get as many views as he can off of this. The YouTuber Muda tweeted this out. He says, homie is going to be dead in a couple years, and it's just sad. This guy has had plenty of chances to get his shit together, and I don't feel sorry at all. And just a few 
few days ago, while the height of this controversy was happening, people found out that Nakato was posting comments on his YouTube videos trying to bait people into buying his Patreon for $24 a month so that they can see him say offensive words. I mean, this guy is being so self-destructive right now. He's doing everything in his power to, I guess, make as many views as he can, and he just does not care about his reputation, about his health. I mean, it is very, very sad to see this, and to be honest, I see a lot of him in me. For those of you who don't know, just a few years ago, I was almost as big as Nakato myself. And at that point in time, I was so self-destructive, I just didn't care what happened to me. And this is why people are so concerned for Nakato, because they feel like he's blinded by the views right now, and he just does not care at all about himself. And it's very sad to see him go down this dark path. People really hope that he will actually do a real weight loss transformation in the future, and we'll keep you guys updated if he does make any strides to do so, because I would love to see him turn his whole life around. And that's it for our video today guys hopefully you enjoyed if you did please be sure to leave a thumbs up and i'll see you later peace